Welcome to the Faroe Islands, a small North Atlantic island community where sheep dot the landscape and far outnumber the people. Sheep have formed and secured life here, and wool and knitting have always been an integral part of society. The Wool Islands is a celebration of wool and knitting in the Faroe Islands. These five people celebrate their Faroese heritage with their passion for wool and knitting. In their own different ways, they have devoted their professional lives to this passion. A modern miniature nation, the Faroe Islands and its capital, Taoshan, may try to match their European sister nations. But the tie to the past is visible, and past traditions live alongside modern ones. We are Gurun and Gurun. We are a small yet international fashion house specialized in hand knit. We strive to bridge uh, tradition with contemporary design. My name is Johanna Austeinum. I'm a knitwear designer from Torsan. Um, I have a label called Steinum. Uh, my label is kind of characterized by using a lot of color, being very playful. And I have a shop here in the heart of Torsan called Ulverhuse. My name is Beinta and I'm the designer behind Einstakt. The brand Einstakt is minimalistic, Nordic and feminine. The meaning of the word Einstakt is unique and that's exactly what this brand is all about. We are located in Örström by the harbour in Torsau. My name is El Christian and I'm the founder and owner of Navia. I'm the fourth generation working with uh, wool here on the Faroe Islands. Uh, here at Navia we treasure the Faroese wool and we use the Faroese wool as the main raw material in many of our yarns. We produce a wide range of hand knitting yarns such as 100% Faroese wool yarns to inspire the customer to create and knit from this wonderful organic material. My name is Cisal Kishansen. My label is Shisa brand, it's a knitwear brand based here on the Faroe Islands, where everything is made locally by local people. Um, the voice of my brand is bold, edgy and very much sustainable. Uh, I have a shop in Torshan called Ulverhuse, where you can find my goods. These modern and creative brands all build on a long history of working with the wool as the Faroese people have been knitting and exporting the knitting for at least 450 years. The sweaters and socks were knitted in the farmstead in the Røyksova, which is the central part of the house. Here the entire family would take part in working the wool. The men would spin the wool ready for knitting, which the women would do, and sometimes the kids would also take part in this job. When they were old enough, they were taught how to knit. After they'd finished all the goods for export, it was time to knit for themselves. So from the 1st of December until the 23rd of December, the household would knit everything that they would need from undergarments to coats and jackets. Although knitting patterns and knitting designs have changed over the years, Faroe's knitting was never really high fashion until recently. The starting point for the sweater was my father's Sima sweater. I explored it and started to scrape off from uh, many patterns to one pattern, from any color to two color, from a high neck to a crown neck. And then I changed the sleeves to raglan sleeves, all to make it more feminine. I really wanted to make the sweater suitable for the urban woman. We have no physical evidence of the earliest knitting on the Faroe Islands, but we do have written records from Norway Bergen that show that in 1567, there were ships on the Faroe Islands that traded 25 meters of canvas for 20 woolen socks. The Faroe's wool is double coated. It has a very soft inner wool and longer and more coarse outer wool. 
Normally when we make yarn, we mix it all together, but in the theory, we could get actually three different yarns. The patterns used in Feroese knitting were collected in the 1920s from knitters in the different villages and made available for future generations in a book of 125 patterns. These patterns are part of the Feroese heritage and are cherished even today. In the Faroe Islands we have a vast heritage of patterns. Um, there were even legislations against like how many stitches could be knitted between every float, what like density you had to have, and what colors to use, um, and so forth. But uh, for me, I just, I see pattern everywhere. I do love using those old pattern books, but uh, the fun part for me is mixing the old with my own patterns and patterns that I might find abroad and kind of the fusing between pattern and colour is the most fun part for me and the possibilities are endless. Several years ago I could see that there was a lot of ferris wool that was thrown away or just burned. As a sheep farmer myself I couldn't stand on the sideline and just do nothing. So we started to collect wool from our local area. This work continued and ended up in a cooperation between Navia, the Ferris government and Bunarstorm. The goal for this uh, cooperation was to build up a wool terminal in the Faroe Islands. Now this wool terminal has been operating successfully for over five years and now we have a more sustainable solution for the Ferris wool. On the Faroe Islands, farmers have decided to keep the different colours and breed for the different colors. And especially the brown and the gray are interesting because they have so many different nuances. And depending on what wool we get every year, that makes the color of the year. Dark brown, or Mishka Moret as we call it, is my favorite color. But I do have a soft spot for light brown, Ljosa Moret. Uh, only 10% of the fairest collected wool is light brown, so it's the most unique of them all. I believe that the future in the fairies wool business is bright, but to fully utilize its full potential, we need to increase the demand by focusing on new and more innovative solutions here on the Faroe Islands. But we must never forget, consumers today have a high demand for sustainable, natural products. And with that, the fairies wool has a great potential. First of all, we have to make use of more of the Ferris wool. A lot of it goes to waste. Secondly, we have to extend the life of the goods made of virgin yarn. We owe it to our past and to our future to utilize the natural resources that we have. And on the Faroe Islands, that is wool. Knitting is such a great part of our culture and our history and heritage. And we are such great knitters here on the islands, so it will be the most natural thing for us to utilize the wool in knitwear. But still, wool goes to waste. And it's a terrible shame, both for the environment, for the wool, for our culture. And that is one of the reasons why I have devoted myself to the fairies wool, and I try to make sure that fairies wool is part of all the garments that I make.